Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? We have that last muscle car standing, the last available with a V8 and a manual transmission once the mighty Camaro goes away. It's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the all new, first time ever, 2024 Ford Mustang. And like I said, first time ever, this is the first time ever dark horse. But before we get into this slick shifting V8 roaring muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. A lot of things are changing very quickly. The Dodge Charger, the Dodge Challenger are going away and coming back as electrified muscle cars. The Chevy Camaro is coming to an end. They're actually ending production January of 2024. And here we are with the seventh generation of the mighty Mustang. Now, what's interesting is you could get your Mustang EcoBoost with the redesign, you could get your Mustang GT, but for right now, if you want top level performance, you can go with the Dark Horse. Now, some people are saying, oh, well, all this is is just a dressed up Mach 1. Ford is here to tell you, and so am I, that that is so far from the truth. Not only are you getting a lot of new technology, but you're also getting a new chassis setup to where you're gonna have quicker steering and then of course, more horsepower. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for that ultimate and slick shifting six-speed manual muscle car that's perfect for a road course or a favorite twisty road, do you go dark horse or do you get one of the very last Camaro SS 1LEs? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this dark horse and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This is the specific color only available on the dark horse called Blue Ember. And it almost reminds me of that color Mystic or Mystique that was once on the SN95 Mustangs. Not as purpley, but definitely has some color changing accessibility to it. You'll notice nice metal flake as Steven kind of moves around. It has some tinges of purple, some blue, some gold. It really looks fantastic. Now, as we drop down at the front of the business, you're gonna get your triple LED beam headlights. And I like the way they ran the triple LED daytime running lamps, which are also your turn signals. Now, this particular dark horse has the handling package. So this is gonna be even more of that performance goodness that you want from your muscle car. In the lower area, we do have a little bit of gloss black, but we have massive corner air intakes for the heat exchangers. On the handling pack one, you're gonna get the bigger front splitter, which is fully functional. And I also love the way on the side, you have that flat black fender extension because we have wider wheels and tires all four corners. Now, as we come across that low, wide slung nose on this beast, you have, of course, your dual nostril, just like a horse, two nostrils. Air is gonna ram into there for our dual throttle body setup of the Coyote V8. You have your metallic flat gray on the pony, gloss black on that fully functional grill, and then, of course, gloss black on the lower portion as well, that blue ember, and then the splitter that just sticks out almost like a freaking table, like a picnic table at the front end of this massive beast of a muscle car. Now, what's great is, like I said, everything is fully functional, and I like the way they really made this dual nostril like a horse. The whole point of this front end was to, to mimic a horse in full gallop, sucking in all that air that it needs to make all of the action happen, and you're definitely gonna make a lot of action happen with this Mustang. Now, if you compare this to the SS1LE, me personally, and I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder, this is the better looker on the front end. But let's see what else we got going on. As we rise up, that blue ember, you're of course gonna have your functional heat extractor. What's interesting, it very is, is very similar to the one on the Camaro. Ours is gloss black on the Ford. On the Chevy, it's a flat black. This also has the optional vinyl graphics on the hood, and I'm really digging the satin finish in the center and then you have a, a dark gray black flat black so that's a gloss black and a flat black on the sides really just gives it that little extra style if you go with a grabber blue or a white 
I highly recommend getting these. And then what's also great about it is that you could also get them painted if you don't want vinyl. These are vinyl, and you'll also notice as we get a little closer, we have a totally black painted roof, gloss black painted roof. Another thing I forgot to mention is this is VIN number two. So number one was auctioned off at Barrett Jackson. This is VIN 002, very special car. As we come around the bend, what are we working with? And I, I almost spun too much. What do we work with on this wheel and tire package? You're gonna get these gunmetal satin gray wheels, Y-spoke design, 19 inch. And you'll notice behind there, you have ginormous 15 inch rotors, 15.7 inch rotors, two piece. And then of course, those Brembo calipers with the blue ember color on them. Those are gonna shed speed faster than a Husky sheds hair. I think the other big piece of the puzzle is there's no Michelin Cup 2 tires for this car. What you get when you go handling package are these Pirelli P0 Trofeo RS tires. And Steven's gonna show you the tread on them. They're very track specific oriented, gonna give you tons of grip. And then of course we can't forget about the magnetic ride suspension that's gonna really read the road like a blind person reads braille that's going to allow you to have perfect suspension action. You'll notice on the side fender, Steven's going to zoom in and show you the new dark horse badge. That's the horse that's galloping right at you. And then as we rise up, before we run away, it also says Mustang dark horse on that vinyl, which is a nice touch as well. Now, from the side, a lot of people have been saying that this looks like a Camaro, and I get what you're saying, but really still has a lot of Mustang qualities there especially when you look at the rest of the vehicle. You are going to get gunmetal gray mirror caps, just like the gray that's on the front of the vehicle and just like the gray on the wheels. We have our gloss black painted roof with a gloss black shark fin antenna. And then, of course, you have the side sills, which extend out just like before. So on your standard Mustang, same story. Now let's talk about the rear wheels and tires. First of all, I love the way it says Trofeo RS. That's a very race prepped, sticky tire. 315s on the rear, 19 inch wheels, all four corners, 30 series sidewall. And you'll notice that we have 14 inch rotors with Brembos. So not like on the Mach 1. Remember the Mach 1 didn't have Brembos on the rear. It just had your standard floating caliper. This has Brembos all four corners. And we got the sticky Trofeo tires. Don't forget we also have engine oil cooler, larger radiator, transmission cooler, and diff cooler to really make sure that you could go do your track days and you're not gonna go into limp mode. This right here, the rear fender, is the biggest part that many people say looks like a Camaro. And I see it, but I think when you park the two cars next to one another, you're gonna throw that idea right out the window. Now, one thing that I definitely love is the rear wing and on the track pack, you're getting the larger rear wing, you have the gray, flat gray finish. You'll notice on the wing, you have that massive kick up. So a nice kick up. And the reason why they dip it down here is so that you have a better view out the back glass, but you got that nice kick up on both sides, fully functional. And you have the V, of course, supporting the center area. And I like the way they wrapped around the corners. Gives it a nice style. Gives you that extra downforce. We got the tri bar taillight that's going all the way back to 1965. Once again, the new Dark Horse badge, the first time they've ever used the name Dark Horse on a Mustang. And then one of my favorite touches is you have those massive, large, and in charge quad tip exhausts, Ford Performance Active exhaust. You can make them loud and piss off the neighbors, or you can keep them quiet and keep the police off your back. I say piss everybody off because the sound of these things are absolutely sweet and you have that lower rear diffuser area that's also fully functional. So that's the great news is, is you have a good looking Mustang, but also a fully functional one. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see the power of this dark horse. All right guys, we got the hood pop. Now, just like the Camaro SS 1LE, we do have hood struts finally on a Mustang Coyote powered vehicle and underneath the hood, there it is. There's that Coyote V8 engine with the all new twin throttle bodies. So you have those massive 
twin throttle bodies, twin air boxes. I love how up top you got that massive strut tower brace, just like a girder off the Brooklyn Bridge with the Mustang Dark Horse name. Great engine cover, and you could see that intake plenum with your eight individual runners. And like I said, those massive freaking throttle bodies to suck in all that air. But what do we got going on here? You still have your five liter Coyote V8 engine. You're now looking at 500 horsepower, 418 pound-feet of torque. Ours is mated, thank you Dream Giveaway Garage, to a six-speed manual. You could also get a 10-speed automatic. If you're looking for acceleration, zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, quarter mile in 12.3 at 117 miles per hour, top speed is 166 miles per hour. The vehicle is on the heavy side, 3,975 pounds. MPGs, who gives a damn, but I will tell them to you anyways. 17, uh, excuse me, 17 combined, 14 in the city, 22 on the highway. So what's fascinating about this whole situation is, is that when you compare the performance to the Camaro SS1 LE, they're very, very similar. And that's actually quite surprising. But remember, the Camaro SS1 LE is lighter. But why don't we go ahead, we got this all new Coyote twin throttle body V8. Why don't we fire it up and hear it. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Mustang Dark Horse VIN number two. Talk about a special kind of pony. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I saw you at the track, your track review. I've been waiting for you to get one from Dream Giveaway Garage. How much is this one if I was to buy it? Well, of course you get to win it from Dream Giveaway Garage. And remember, they're pairing it up with a brand new Ford Lightning, so you get a twofer. This, though, the MSRP, $73,000 with the handling package. Let's see how it compares to the Camaro SS 1LE to the door panels. I love the microfiber suede material. The blue accented material in here really brings the whole space to a new level. You have the dark gunmetal gray on the door handle there. And then everything else is a nice flat black. No gloss black, which is very happy to see. You do have a decent sized door pocket for a big Buford, some nice checkers fries and a strawberry milkshake. Going from the door panel to the dash, you do have that great textured material, the dark horse. This is the chassis number. Remember, these are not the VIN numbers. The VIN number is on the windshield. This is the chassis number. All dark, dark horses get a chassis number. Love the blue ember stitching, just like the blue ember on the door panels. And then this is the new talk of the town. You got the two massive infotainment system screens, one for the actual infotainment, one for your gauge cluster. What's great about it is that the technology is on another level. What's not so great is that it's not integrated into any type of bezel. So that to me is the zonk, but I do like the way you could go easily into your exhaust notes with that Ford Performance Active Exhaust. We could bring up auxiliary, uh, auxiliary gauges. You could bring up a whole cornucopia of that stuff. You could go into your color, or I should say my color, but it's your color, with displays, ambient lighting. It's like a Crayola Crayon Roy G. Biv Ecstasy Enterprise of a setup there. And then of course you have custom mode where you could go into each thing individually. Now one of the things that's also really cool, I'll show you when you come to the business side, is when you could change up the gauges, especially when it comes to the Fox body gauges. Now working your way down, you have your AC controls. The big zonk is, it's all in the screen. So that to me is a big zonk. You do have heated and ventilated seats. You of course have your auxiliary buttons down below, going to your Mustang mode, your nice red atomic fireball start stop button, USB-C, USB-A, 
wireless charging. There is that awesome titanium blue shift knob. It's actually made out of titanium. More of that great stitching. You got the e-brake, the electric drift brake. Ken Block is looking down, smiling about that. Two cup holders, soft material with the stitching. Open this up. You could keep a jar of all the tiers of the Camaro owners in there. And then this one has the optional comfort seat. So you have the blue ember, microfiber suede material, manual backs, but electric bottoms. So I am going to zonk that. The bottom has some decent bolstering. The top, I wish, had a little bit more. But if you look, we do have our rear seats as well. So that's the good news about that. But why don't you get your butt over here to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Mustang. All right, guys, we got the three memory seat settings for the driver's seat. You do have this beautiful Mustang dark horse sill plate. Very, very nice touch. Of course, the pedal box, aluminum clutch, brake, and throttle. I'm going to have to still zonk the dead pedal. I wish that that was aluminum. You do have the nice blue ember stitching on the floor mats. That's an additional five horsepower. Power seats for the bottom, but it sucks that this is a manual back. That's another zonk. But these seats are comfy. I would pay the additional, I think it's $1,700, and get the Recaros. Full leather. They're phenomenal. Steering wheel, flat bottom, two-piece leather. Love the blue stitching, the blacked out pony on the horn and then of course you have your flat black on the switch gear and your mode selector switch easy to get to manual tilting and telescoping wheel and then you do have a ginormous digital gauge cluster but the problem is is that it's not integrated but it does have beautiful graphics as you go through the different modes just like freaking Gran Turismo and then of course you can also make adjustments to the dash like I was telling you, you go into my Mustang and then you go into cluster theme and here's where you could go sport. You can go calm if you don't want a lot of information in your life. You can go classic Fox body. That's really cool. I feel like they made that for me. Or you could do match drive mode and then normal. So they got you covered every which way from Sunday. The, the other zonk I got to give it is that to do the AC controls is a little bit of a pain because it's all through the screen, especially for the blower fan because you have to slide your finger and it's going to leave greasy prints all over the screen. But we're going to show you the trunk because that's important to bring all the goodies to the track that you're going to need to make sure you have a successful track day. And then guess what? We're going to go on throttle in this Mustang. So let's get to it. All right, guys, one area where the Mustang kills the Camaro is in its trunk space. You have 13 cubic feet of usable space, even with the subwoofer. Because remember, we have that premium sound system. Even with the subwoofer, plenty of room. You could fold down the seats. It's a 50-50 split. Underneath the cargo liner, you do not get a spare. You get a can of flat fix and an electric air compressor because it's all about cutting weight. But you know what? It's now that time. I've been jonesing for it. I know you have. Let's hop in this blue ember dark horse and go on throttle with that Tremec together. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Mustang dark horse, all new for 2024. Of course, we got to start off the video with some on throttle. Are you ready? We're going to do it from a dead stop. Man, this thing is bad mamma jamma. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> mm, yeah! I tell you, the Coyote engine has never sounded better with this Tremec of course, a hot knife through butter. And with the dual throttle bodies, it really does a great job, of course, of getting that nice fresh air in and allowing that engine to pull stronger than the Mach 1. And of course, we're talking about the Camaro SS 1LE. This definitely revs harder than the Camaro SS 1LE. Are you ready? On throw, here we go. <gasps> oh my God. Now remember, with the Camaro SS1LE, like I was telling you, that's a push rod V8 engine. 
So your revs are gonna max out around 6,500 RPM. With this vehicle, you're able to carry the revs much higher. And remember, the tachometer says 7,500 RPM. Now on the interior, I love the way everything is laid out. Getting to the infotainment system is great. I'm still gonna zonk the screens. They're just a little too big for me in this area, and I wish they were molded more into the dash, but second gear, you ready? This is what it's all about. Hot right, throttle, here we go. On the brakes. Nice, here we go. I tell you, the way that it allows you to go through the gears so smoothly with confidence and the sound. The sound is worth the price of admission. If you've driven an S550, they did, they've done a great job with changing up the steering, making it uh, quicker on turning, more feedback than before. And uh, you know, the environment that you're sitting in, all the materials, everything has been raised to another level. But I'm just so glad that Ford has kept the V8 alive and the manual transmission. With those freaking sticky tires on this dark horse with the handling package, you get the grip, you get the stick, and you get the communication that you want as well. The automatic rev match downshift is very helpful if you want to do your own heel toe downshifting, you could do that as well. God, I could listen to this all day long. Very, very balanced. And that's surprising because remember, this is not some featherweight Mustang. Yes, you could have the Fox body gauges showing, but this is heavier than a Fox body Mustang by far. And the thing is, is that they've done a great job with the chassis, with the suspension, to not make her feel as heavy as what the spec sheet says. Interesting the way that in the dark horse with the handling package, you still have a rear seat. I wish they would just let you delete that, but I'm telling you the shift lever height and that titanium shift knob is freaking spectacular. Oh, here we go. On the brakes. Look at this. Those Brembos. Lots of grip at the front end. Just let her wind out. Woohoo! I tell you, it really freaking just makes you feel like you're Superman or Superwoman or both. And the thing is, is that with the magnetic ride suspension, it's fine tuning every nanosecond, what the surface level is, what the grip level is, and it's adjusting. It's making adjustments to the compression and the rebound damping to really make sure that you have a nice flat cornering entry and then also getting the power to the ground as you exit out. That's the other important piece of the puzzle. All right, guys, here we go. We gotta go again. I can't stop. I can't. On oh, throttle, here we go. On the brakes, look at this. Look at this. Mm, mm, give it to me. Woo! I think I need to pull over into this emergency urgent care because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that put me on another level. And that's what this car does. All of the different aspects of it just put you on a different level to where you feel fan freaking tastic. Fantastic. All right, guys, one more time for me. Definitely one more time for you. Are you ready? First gear on throttle.
love the pops, I love the bangs. On those brakes, nice down shifts, look at this. The grip, the grip! <laughs> Let her just rev on out. What an amazing, amazing, you know what, we're gonna go straight, I'm gonna go straight a little bit longer. What an amazing machine. This is what I, why I love what I do here. And this is why it's gonna be a cold day in hell when you see Joe Rady from Rady's Rides buy an EV. I don't care how fast zero to 60 they are. This thing puts it on a different level. And uh, yeah, the Camaro SS1 LE is a great car, but guess what? After 2024, gone. And this is, this is what we have. And uh, to be honest with you, it's not a bad way to go. Even if you're not a Ford person, it's not a bad way to go. Automatic rim match, you see that? It does it perfect. Like your Mario freaking Andretti. Oh, throttle, here we go. guys i could do this all freaking day long but uh you know what i gotta get home and uh and have some dinner i uh, wish i could take this dark horse with me especially the handling package but we need to get back to dream giveaway whoever wins this is gonna be very 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 lucky but i will see you in a mustang minute all right guys been another rip roaring slick shifting v8 power kind of day here at dream giveaway garage definitely want to thank the whole team for getting us access to this 2024 mustang dark horse remember if you use the radies rides code and you buy 25 dollars or more in giveaways it'll double your chances of winning and remember they don't pay me to say that they just want to help a radies rides fan win this mustang dark horse and also you get the Ford Lightning. It's a package deal. But let me know what you think. Would you go with this dark horse or are you gonna stick with the Camaro SS 1LE? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up, Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood Photography. Even when he says things can't be done, he still seems to way, uh, have a way of making them happen for the most part. So thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. Show him some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.